Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the beautiful colors there to the right. That is a beautiful looking color there for the tree there, I would say. Yes, indeed it is. Yes, and guess what? We did get unloaded. Five miles. A little bit early, not too much, but a little bit, right? So that's good. I'm happy about that. It's uh, exactly 12 o'clock right now as we leave. And yeah, so uh, our appointment was at 12.30. So luckily we got unloaded a little bit early. So here we are on our way to our reload, which is Hazleton, Pennsylvania. Yes, indeed. So that's taken a little bit of the beautiful scenery up here. I know I have shown this before, but hey, it's gorgeous every time I come through here, so why not show it again, right? It makes me happy that they got me unloaded early a little bit. There's like two other Penner trucks ahead of me there before I got unloaded, so which that's fine, you know. They, their appointment on one of them was at 8 and the other one was uh, for 10 o'clock he said and so here we are I don't know exactly what they got here if it's like a I don't know I don't know what it is there's a lot of boat trailers here there must be a lot of people in the, in the lake today probably fishing it wouldn't surprise me Trying to do some fishing up there. But yeah, looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day today. I'm happy. I got 312 miles to go to my pickup. And it sounds like that load is ready right now as we speak because uh, I have already gotten messages saying that my border crossing has been set up. So that's usually an indication that my load is ready. So we'll go down there and here we are in Connecticut. Yes, indeed we are. We're cruising along our I-84. Still have 196 more miles to go. Yeah, as soon as I left there earlier, we got us a phone call and we're on the phone until now. So uh, I said, all right, that's enough. Let's get off the phone. and. Let's do some more videotaping or whatever filming whatever you want to call it it's no longer being done on a tape anymore nowadays everything is done on memory cards but yeah here we are in Connecticut slow vehicles keep right all right we'll do that we'll do that Low vehicles laying hands in 500 feet. All right. That wasn't a very long distance. But yeah, I was looking at it and it's like, uh, I can technically get up to Toronto tonight if I really push hard tonight. So I am kind of debating on if I'm going to do that or not. And according to my satellite, I've gotten all my parts uh, except it now for the border crossing and everything too so i think i'm good to go across the border and everything so i might actually make her into toronto tonight drop my load in toronto tonight and that way i can take my 10 hours off over there that way i'm ready to go probably tomorrow by lunchtime again and i can now uh, hopefully get me a load going home and if we don't get a load going home then oh well I guess we'll just be uh, waiting there till we get one, I guess. Got no other choice, right? <laughs> but yeah, I was looking at it. We could probably be in Toronto by midnight tonight. And that would mean uh, I wouldn't really have no traffic there tonight going in there, right? Probably be almost no traffic at the border. All of that would be a lot better for me, actually. And so... Uh, I'm thinking about doing that. I mean, I only started my logbook here around lunchtime, right? So, by midnight, it's only about 12 hours, 13 hours, and I can be on duty for 14, and 
I have as soon as I cross the border I can be in uh, you know I can be on duty or not on duty but I can I have 16 hours to fulfill my 13 hours of driving because I get 13 hours in Canada to drive right so and I know I can easily make it up to the border it's not even 600 miles up to the border it's only like I don't know 570 miles or something like that to the border so I am um, kind of thinking that's what we're going to do and I looked it up and master steak is open till 2 a.m. so if I get there by 2 o'clock I still have enough time to go drop my trailer go over to master steak get me a steak that would be awesome yes indeed it would be but anyways we'll continue on cruising along here and I hope we get us a decent video in today still because we only started at lunchtime so hopefully we still can get some good footage in for you looks like we got some pretty decent hills up here but we are empty we are we got no weight in the trailer right now and usually that stuff that we pick up over there is pretty light too usually like 25 28 thousand pounds so it's nothing to worry about so uh yeah we'll make our way down there and we'll see if they're happy to see us and give us our trailer we are now in pennsylvania guys yes indeed we are yeah, we got another 47 more miles to go and then we'll be at our pickup location. Yeah, I made me a little tiny bit of a pit stop there earlier and met up with Trucker Jukebox. Yeah, we got this app called Life360 and uh, I was looking in there and he was like right there, you know, like quarter of a mile from me and I said, all right, well, yeah, let's pull her in there and, and have a little meet up with him and so we met up and had a little bit of a bite to eat obviously we had no cameras rolling but uh, yeah so we met up for a few minutes there and so had us a quick bite to eat there and then I went back on the road again yeah, this stretch of the highway always seems to be backed up here. I've gone through here, I don't know how many times now in the last <laughs> six months, and every time I come through here, it's been backed up over here. Just a little stretch here, like just a few miles here, and that's it, you know. But anyways, it's the way it is, I guess. Just gotta be patient and... We'll get through it, right? Well, we will be through here before you know it. That's the way it's been so far every time I come through here. But yeah, anyways. We'll make our way down to Hazelton. And it'll probably be almost dark by the time I get there, probably. So, probably won't be able to show you too much more today. Unless it will be evening driving. Hey guys, we are now in Mississauga, Ontario at Master Steak, of course. Yes, indeed we are. <clears throat> we got here really late last night. Uh, to be exact, at 2.15 we got here. And we had till quarter to three till our 16th hour window closed before we had to go off duty. So we got here and on time. Dropped our trailer and went over here, Bob Taylor over here, and called it a day. So it's actually the next day already. When <laughs> by the time I recorded this one, but but anyways, I figured I close off my video for today. I know it's not much of a video today, but hey, well, ever we tried. At least we had a video of some kind, right? So with that being said, we'll see you on the next one. This has been Trucker Rudy signing out. Behind me, that day is gonna come